So let's go through these one by one. Even though 21 is not an even number, we can still use this as a counter example because if we take p equals 20, then p plus one would be 21. And that is supposedly a multiple of five according to this statement, but 21 is equal to three times seven as they are both primes. It is not a multiple of five. So therefore 21 equals three times seven is a counter example to this. For the second one, well, 21 isn't even and it also isn't a square number so we can't use 21 equals 3 times 7 as a counter example to that. Number 3, if p is a multiple of 3 then it's a multiple of 5. Well 21 is a multiple of 3 but it's not a multiple of 5 so therefore we can use this result as a counter example of that. Number 4, when p is prime it's never a multiple of 7. Well 21 is not prime anyway and in fact this statement is always true so it doesn't have any counter examples. And the 5 one, when p is not prime, it's always a product of two primes. Well, 21 is not prime, and it is a product of two primes, but that is not a counterexample to that, even though this statement is false. And so therefore, the number of counterexamples are 2, which is C.